By your deeds has the blinding light been banished from these skies, and the Sin Eaters driven to retreat. Although our many hurts will be years in the mending, I have faith that this world and her people will one day be whole once more. With no rejoining in prospect, the Source need no longer fear the coming of an eighth umbral calamity. And with that triumph, the future from which you came will no longer come to pass. Yet here you still stand. So I do. I wonder if that other age continues onward somehow, cut adrift from time's flow. Or have I simply etched myself a place upon this new block of history? Either way, this is an unexpected development. As the summoner of your souls, my death was meant to release you back to your world. Yet I am very much alive, and you are still stuck here in the first. I believe I speak for us all when I say that we are happy to postpone our return if it means your life is spared. We will seek out another way. Besides, I never had any intention of rushing home. There are people here I still need to thank, and this means I might actually have time to do so. Yet we dare not neglect our comrades in the source. Mistress Tataru, to name but one, will be most anxious to know how things stand with us. So, you'll just have to make the journey alone for the moment. Be sure and give a full report to our fellow Sires, would you? Oh, and we'd also appreciate any news you can bring us from back home. Then I see no reason to delay. I can open the path from here. I imagine we each have matters demanding our attention, so let this be a farewell for us all. Send word when you've resummoned our friend. Oh, and do try to ensure he arrives within the city next time. Ha! <laughs> of course! I shall strive for utmost accuracy. No strange forests or unplanned passengers, I promise. Relieved to be honest. I would have been terribly lonely if everyone had suddenly disappeared. But I understand that you have to go. Safe journey, warrior of darkness. I hope to see you again soon. Just a moment while I attune the portal, then you can be on your way. When I was a boy, many long years ago, I yearned to stand tall as the heroes of Eld. But like a fool seeking to pluck the stars from the heavens, my every attempt to reprise their deeds fell short. And then one day, an all but forgotten dream from my youth stood before me in the flesh.
A hero who looked at the horizon and beyond and saw I knew not what. All I knew was that I would give anything to stand at that hero's side. Would that it was so easy. The glory of the heavens was ever beyond the grasp of those who never thought to reach for it. But if I have gained anything from all of this, it is the courage to stretch out my hand. Do you hear me, Grahatia? This is no time for sleeping. To the West Gate. I want to know what's happening there. Same as the others, struck down with a single blow. An unfortunate day to draw guard duty. Forgive me. These were your people. We took advantage of this slaughter to slip into the palace. Tis not for me to grieve them. <laughs> that was the Emperor! Wait! Ugh! Gaius, you've missed your part in this, I'm afraid. Identify yourself, demon! You were hoping for the Asian? The Craven shed this skin and fled, rather than face me. A pity. I was looking forward to crossing blades with myself. But I cannot deny the feeling of satisfaction. Body and soul reunited at last. What now? The game continues, but the pieces have changed. Only if we trust in a paragon's words. A mistake I do not intend to repeat. He speaks the truth. Elidibus is gone. Tore a hole into the rift. <sighs> Xenos, my foolish, greedy son. Was a second life not enough? 
What's the Empire too rich a prize to ignore? Through freedom for our nation, our people will never be won by a spoiled princeling. The burden of this throne is beyond you. Hmm. Tis you, father, who have struggled with this burden. Simply holding the Empire together has occupied your limited faculties. But you may take comfort in knowing that I have no intention of pursuing your tedious agenda. Nor am I interested in ruling over the Empire's lands. I came only to remove that which ruins my sport. I will not have my prey stolen by your petty wars and cowardly weapons. You would kill me just for that. I need no other reason. Any and all who interfere with my hunt... ...will not do so twice! I heard the Asians speak of Zodiac, an idolin. Even the will of this star is but a construct of our own making. We shall gorge upon their strength, and then, my friend, our contest shall begin anew. Xenos! <laughs>
Thank you. 